President Moon Jae-in unveiled his nominees for five ministerial posts. This comes while he still awaits the parliament's confirmation on those who tapped for top government jobs nearly two weeks ago. Our Moon Gan-young starts us off with a list of names from Cheongwa-dae. Eleven down, six more to go. President Moon Jae-in is enlisting five more nominees to fill out his 17-member cabinet nearly two weeks since he last released the names of a handful tapped to fill ministerial posts. President Moon Jae-in has named five nominees for ministerial posts today. Kim Sang-gon, former education superintendent of Gyeonggi-do, for Minister of Education. An Kyung-hwan, professor emeritus at Seoul National University, for Minister of Justice. Song Young-moo, chair professor at Konyang University, for Minister of National Defense. Kim Eun-kyung, CEO of Sustainability Center, Jiwoo, for Minister of Environment, and Cho Dae-yup, Dean of Korea University Graduate School of Labor Studies, for Minister of Employment and Labor. As Education Superintendent for Gyeonggi-do Province, Kim, who will double as Deputy Prime Minister for Social Affairs, has a history of stalling proposals to expand special purpose high schools and instead directing support towards underprivileged students. President Moon chose Ahn, a legal scholar with expertise in human rights policies, to oversee the nation's Justice Department, which would include cleaning up the much too political and much too powerful prosecution service. Ahn has no background as a prosecutor, which is unusual in a candidate for the post. To lead the military, South Korea's commander-in-chief selected a decorated veteran, Song Young Moo, who has served in the Navy for more than three decades. The nomination is based on the president's belief that Seoul is the right person to beef up national defense in the face of growing nuclear and missile threats from North Korea to bring about a healthy balance between the Army, Navy and the Air Force and carry out his defense reform pledge. Kim Eun-kyung is the third female nominee President Moon has tapped to fill his cabinet. She heads a sustainability center and is known to be well-versed in environmental and sustainable development issues with ample experience in the public service. And finally, Mr. Moon's pick for labor minister, Cho Dae-yup, is a scholar who has dedicated his career to research in labor issues. Cho has ample experience smoothing labor management relations over various contentious issues. A little over a month into presidency, President Moon Jae-in is speeding up efforts to create his new cabinet. But a Sunday's announcement came with a preemptive acknowledgement that the nominees for his defense and labor ministries have a record of violating the resident registration law. Now, that's the one that's keeping his foreign affairs minister nominee from winning parliament's approval and driving under the influence, respectively. Whether Mr. Moon will be successful in getting his top picks installed in his cabinet will likely be decided in the next few weeks. At least it will have to be before the end of the month when the South Korea-U.S. summit happens. Moon Gonyoung, Arirang News.